Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a quick look at HTTP3 in .NET 6. So uh, let's switch over to Visual Studio Code. So here we have a client program on the left and a server on the right. Now HTTP3 is always secure, so we have to do a few things here. First off is specify an HTTPS URL. Next we have to set up an HTTPS cert on the server side. And finally for HTTP3, we need to configure quick and we have to enable the HTTP3 protocol. Um, all this server is going to be doing is printing a little hello world with the protocol version in it. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, and uh, all the client's doing is making a very simple request to this endpoint and printing out the response. So let's go ahead and run that. So here I ran the request with HTTP 1.1 and you can see on the server it logged a HTTP 1.1 request and the client got the hello world response with HTTP 1.1. To use 3, we just change that to version 3 and if we run this again now the server reports HTTP 3 was used and the client gets the correct hello world in response. So HTTP 3 doesn't really add much in terms of API surface. It's far more of a plumbing update. Um, to show you one of my favorite features, I'm going to have to show you the packets that these two requests created behind the scenes. Um, to do that, I've been running Wireshark, logging everything that happens. Uh, let's switch to that now and take a look. So in the red here you have our HTTP 1 request and in the blue you have HTTP 3. You may be familiar with the TCP handshake that happens up here, the SYN SYNAC ACK. Now this is a secure connection so you also have the TLS handshake here. And finally the request and the response. So in networking we often look at the total round trips to get an idea of what sort of latency we can expect with the protocol. Um, in HTTP 1 here we have three round trips. Uh, you can see one round trip is basically due to the TCP handshake, the second is due to the TLS handshake, and the third is just our request and response. So if you've ever been in a game and cursed lag for causing your defeat, um, you've probably been complaining about a poor ping time. Um, one round trip is basically your ping time. So if you have a ping time of 100 milliseconds um, from start to finish, you would have got your response back here in about 300 milliseconds. Now let's take a look at Quick. Quick actually merges both the TLS handshake and the Quick handshake into one. So here you have the initial request from the client to the server, followed by the server's response. Um, and finally you have the client's response to the handshake as well as the uh, actual request data, and finally the response data from the server. So in terms of round trips, this is just two round trips, one for the handshake and one for the request and response. So going based on our 100 millisecond ping time from before, this is now 200 milliseconds from start to finish. So using HTTP 3 ended up cutting roughly one third of our initial response latency. This will be directly visible to users in terms of their initial page load times. It will be visible in backend environments in terms of warm up times when talking to web services or if you're in a microservice environment. Um, which is not bad considering we changed just one line in the client code. That's it. Thank you.